What's going on everyone? Welcome to another run here in American Truck Simulator. Feels like it's been forever, but eh, just busy doing other stuff. Today we're going to run with the W900. Once again, with the W900 accessory pack from Allen. Because it's just a great pack. It's really cool. Today I also threw some Peterbilt steel on there. Alcoa chrome wheels with Bridgestone rubber wrapped around it. Because, come on, what doesn't look good with those? That just It works with anything. You know, I could, you know, Peterbilt oval rims work with the Peterbilts. But with everything else, just use the regular rims here. They look great. So, went with the uh, day cab look here, trying to do the owner operator or maybe small company kind of thing. Simple, you know, gets the job done, right? Uh, what am I thinking here? MX-13, 485 horsepower is what is underneath the hood, if I remember correctly. I know it's a 485. But anyway, let's get on to the trailer, because that's more important. This comes from Smarties Custom Rigs. It was released not too long ago, and I finally got around to finding it and showing it off. It is the 1988 Utility 2000R. It's a 40 by 96 reef reefer trailer, so it's, it's not even a 48-footer. It's a shorty. Uh, as you, you can see, the classic Thermo King on there. Even I like the detail there with the fan that's still spinning. I mean, I don't know if the unit... Yeah, I guess it is on. The unit is on, maybe. But that fan's still spinning there. That is just nice. That is a nice little touch. I love that. Um, uh, it features an animated thermal, uh, Thermo King Super 2 refrigeration unit, advanced coupling, and full use of Trailer Paint Job Systems current feature sets. So as you can see there, I've got the Kraft Heinz on there because I am running the real companies and trailer you know, cargo pack here. So uh, all of the farm has been changed over to Kraft Heinz. And so it converted to the trailers too. Very nice. Um, also, when my wheel pack is installed, it says here, with higher priority, custom wheels are applied to this trailer. I went with steel. There was an option for chrome. So keep that in mind if you guys have his Alcoa tire pack, the rim pack. It works with many other things. I, I believe some of the ZRTR trailers also use that as well. So, I mean, there are all other trailers that use his uh, Alcoa wheel pack. I used it on the last video here with the W900. So if you guys don't have it, do yourself a favor. Go get it, download it, put it near the top of your list. You know, maybe, you know, just below all of your sound and map mods. Put it right up there in the upper third. Even if you don't use those oversized Alcoas, you can at least have some chrome wheels that look good on your trailer. So, real quick here, what are we doing? What are we doing? Let's see. I am heading out from... This is still Reading, I believe. Heading to Sacramento to Walmart. Got a load of yogurt, tipping the scales at 39,000 pounds. I do have that axle up. I think I will put that down. I was going to roll with it, but I didn't realize I weigh that much. So, I'll go ahead and drop that here once we get going. So... Short run, easy run. Let's get going. update here with what I've been running with my equipment was I recently picked up the head tracker pro for the track IR5 and what it is and I guess you can call this a little bit of an advertisement here uh, even though it's not official the uh, the head tracker pro is a clip-on piece that goes to your headset and it allows me to stop wearing a hat every time I want to use track IR pro which is kind of nice I mean at least I can if I want to wear a hat I can now wear it backwards like I normally do but 
the it has LEDs on it instead of the normal reflectors. And the nice thing with that is, is now I can have a light on behind me, which my wife is known for doing, is flipping on the light behind me instead of the ones that are over on the right hand side, because I am doing this basically in our living room. Um, so with that on, I can have the light on behind me, and it really isn't going to interfere with the pickup of the LEDs here for the track IR5. So 50 bucks, why not, right? If you guys have it, go ahead and use it. It is a little weird to get used to if you are used to grabbing your headset by the earphone part. You know, I usually grab both sides to put it over my fat head. And uh, you know, I think it is kind of big. Whenever I get a fitted hat, I remember I had to get like a seven and three eighths or something like that, or seven and three quarters or whatever it was. It was usually the biggest one that you usually had at the store. And if they didn't have it, it wouldn't fit. You know, one size fits most. I'm not part of the most. So anyway, um, yeah, it, it is a little cumbersome. I have seen complaints from people saying that, that it's flimsy, they broke it. It's because they're not careful with it. There is a clasp, a, a little lock uh, on the front side of this clip here. So it's it, it's a nice little feature because it, it ensures that you don't un accidentally uh, unlock it and pull it off. So the clip actually locks, and I think that's where people are screwing up because they're, you know, pulling on it or whatever, and it ends up breaking the hinge. But, you know, it's nice. It, it, it's a nice little touch, and I'm really enjoying it. So... If you guys have track IR5, track IR5, do yourself a favor. Unless you like wearing the hat or whatever you use, you know, do yourself a favor. Spend the, I think it was like 46 bucks altogether. Get yourself this little device. Very handy, very nice. And one thing I got to get used to now is though, is it has a cord that comes from the device here and plugs into a USB, and it's got a uh, an additional female USB on it so if your headset is USB then you can plug your headset into the cord here because it's got the adapter for it and then you just take the one wire and plug it right in your computer so it kind of acts like a bypass because um, the LEDs aren't really taking that's all it is it's just three LEDs that it has to power up so it's not like it's gonna be a big drain on anything your headset will form will function normally uh, you know so that's a nice little nice little touch there but be prepared, you are going to have two wires, and this you're running a, a wireless headset, um, you are going to have two wires now coming from your head, so what I've gone and done is I've zip-tied them together, so that way I don't have two loose wires. A little bit of wire cable management going on there. So, nice touch, nice touch. What else is going on? Well, I am still in the planning phases for my iRacing event. Uh, if you guys haven't been checking out any of those videos, they're intense sometimes. Uh, this week is Daytona, and that will be ending on Monday here. Or not Daytona, I'm sorry, Talladega. And the event that I am going to be holding here on June 10th for iRacing uh, is now going to... I did say it was going to be Daytona, which is a free track. Everyone gets it when you sign up for iRacing. I've changed it. I'm going to go to Talladega. Talladega is a paid track, so you are going to have to shell out some money, you know, so consider it kind of an entry fee, maybe. But, here's the thing. Talladega is fast. It's wide. It's smooth. And though smooth and wide are the main reasons I'm selecting that track over the stock 2000, circa 2007 Daytona track. Daytona that you get free with iRacing is very bumpy. It's not smooth. It's narrow. And it... it just, I don't think it's going to provide a good event if we're afraid to go too wide in a corner because everyone's bouncing all over the place like a Super Bowl. So, Talladega it is. You can go three wide and still have room. You can even go four wide if all four of you have nerves of steel uh, and you will survive in the corners and that's what I'm looking for here. So, uh, talking with some of the crew, some of the fans, and as well as Mr. Moose, we're getting together ideas on what we can do for prizes and how much is exactly going to be up for grabs. Um, Prizes are most likely going to be iRacing credits, so people can go ahead and put that towards subscriptions or tracks and cars and things like that. You know, seeing the iRacing just went to the dirt, so now they've got uh, late models, they've got 
uh, that you can buy. You've got uh, the winged sprint cars, the World of Outlaws that you can buy. They've got the USAC wingless sprint cars that you can buy now. Uh, they are also going to, be, going to be coming out with the Modifieds, so if you're a fan of the Dirt Oval Modifieds, those will soon be out. They've been out laser scanning all those in, so lots of stuff coming, more tracks. It's going to be a blast, and so, you know, all that is going to be up for grabs, and don't know how much is going to be up for grabs just yet, but, you know, if you guys are interested in that, stay tuned. I'm sure I will be bringing that to you here regardless of whatever video you watch because it's an event that I really want to try to get a lot of people to go to and there's already a decent amount building for it um, that the, the interest be, you know from those that uh, watch my videos here uh, as well as actually some from Mr. Moose's group are really interested in it and there's actually been a handful of fans that follow me here that have already said hey I just picked up iRacing because they want to be a part of the event so and it looks really fun and you know what it really is it really is once you got a rookie it's, it's really a blast so uh, if that is something that interests you guys by all means yeah go ahead and go for that check out my recent videos from Talladega I just put put up one on uh, Thursday and uh, then I put out on I'm gonna be putting on another one this weekend as well and this one's going to be the big one this one actually took out like two-thirds of the field. It was a bad one, and it included me as well. So it's not going to be a super long video, but interesting nonetheless. So, yeah. What else is going on? Player, players un, or yeah, Player Unknowns Battle... I keep on wanting to say Battlefield. That's not it. It's Player Unknowns Battlegrounds. And that game, even if you are not a fan of shooters, whether it's first person or third person, because you do have that choice here, uh, you can hit a button and go into first person. Um, it is a hot game. Really hot game. Uh, beginning of this week here on Monday, I think we're probably talking like May 1st or so, or 2nd or so, a press release came out saying that they have 2 million sales if I remember to press release correctly two million it is shot to the top of oh, there's two popos back there two SUVs uh, it has shot <clears throat> to the top of Steam's you know uh, top playing charts consecutive players it has become explodingly popular and for rightfully so it is a Really fun game. Come on. Oh, you slow down? Come on. Uh, I was slowing down and then he decided to slow down and then yeah, apparently I hit him and oh well, I don't care. Anyway. Um Yeah, really popular game, really fun to play. Uh a lot of people I know play it, uh you know, some of the people in my crew, again, Mr. Moose as well, has gotten into it. Um, you know, so we've turned a couple of our people onto it, and they, you know, we, we have squads now, and it's just, you know, a battle royale, last man standing, everyone for their, everyone for themselves, if you're playing single player, uh, gunfight. You know, it's, 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 if you were always on Call of Duty or Battlefield, and you played nothing but, uh, death matches, this is a game for you. Um, I mean, strategy is involved as well. So, I mean, it isn't just straight out respawn, go out and kill someone, die five seconds later, and get another ticket. Um, you know, go out and kill someone, come back, respawn, and come back and, and die all over again. You know, oh, no, I don't want to go that way. You, see that. Um, you know, it's, it's actually strategy is involved, whether you're using shotties or... Uh, submachine guns or an AK or even a sniper rifle uh, you have to think about what you're gonna do and when to do it and pray that you know no one sees you and picks you off so really in insanely popular game $30 is what it costs to buy and they up they update it frequently and there's more to come as well maps even console version versions when the when the game is fully released it is an early alpha but, uh, you know, it, it, for being an early alpha, it's pretty good. You know, we're, we're enjoying it. So, 
once again though I do have uh, videos of well three videos anyway on my channel here so be sure to check those out too so it can be long and boring and drawn out and it's quiet but you know when you hear the pitter-patter of people's feet walking around you within 100 yards or so or upstairs or downstairs or what have you you know you need the quiet so you can hear the footsteps going around you can hear the door open or close you can hear someone uh, you know reloading their gun by pulling out another clip and putting in another one so you know stuff like that really matters you need to have quiet and there's been a couple of times already while we were playing I basically told you know some of the people in the chat to shut the hell up or all those mute them you know because I need to hear what's going on around me so it can test your patience as well as patience for your friends Walmart and Kraft still using this old school 1988 trailer here. I didn't realize it was that old until I was reading the description here and I was like, oh wow. And I already saw the cones, there they are. And I'm going to keep my mouth shut about how easy or hard this should be. But what I will do, oh, oh I should have just drove around the whole place. Oh, I'm not small enough I can get it around here. And I hit the fence. <laughs> Never know, I might. Yeah, this is probably a no-no. Then again, I've seen trucks do it too, so... Yep, pivot those wheels, drag them. Yeah, there we go. I'm a swift driver. I know it. See if I can straighten it out a little bit. One more pull up just to straighten everything out, and this is golden. Good to go. That'll work. Alrighty. Shut her down. Boom. Done for today. And that's what I'm going to do here is call it a day. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you liked the trailer, the truck. Be sure to check the description as well as the mods list down below for the accessory pack for the W900 as well as that 2000R from Scotty's Custom Rigs. Beautiful work by both of them. Awesome. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take it easy.